this video tutorial uh, we will download the geological data uh, for the whole uh, world and then we will extract the data for our uh, area of interest so clicking here uh, geology data uh, here you can see uh, the geology data uh, world geological maps here are different uh, uh, regions has been have been opened uh, like uh, Arabian Peninsula, Afghanistan, Arctic, uh, GIS datasets for different areas. Uh, so to download uh, the geology data, uh, which may consist of different types of rocks, for example, Paleozoic, Cenozoic, uh, Triassic, Jurassic, etc. Uh, so to do so. Uh, uh, the data can be downloaded from USGS uh, different types of locations have been opened so I want to download the data for South Asia uh, clicking the entire publication it will show me uh, the information about the data and the legends uh, which are given with the same data so clicking uh, the report in the PDF format for the Asia you can see here India, Pakistan, Afghanistan are highlighted clicking report uh, this PDF format file will show me the information about the rocks or the geology of this particular area that is Asia scrolling down to see the information of geology there are different formations just to zoom in you can see here explanation about the rocks that is quaternary sediments Undivided Devonian rocks, Paleocene Cretaceous extrusive rocks, Mesozoic intrusive and metamorphic rocks, Cretaceous sedimentary rocks. Now, to want to download the data for the uh, ArcGIS or any GIS software uh, shape file data. Here you can see that the data is downloaded. Extract the file to open the data in Arc Map. I have already extracted the file on the desktop, so this is the data. Just drag and drop the shape file. Here you can see that the uh, shape file data has been added and I want to map, uh, uh, create a map of uh, Pakistan. Now adding the shape file of Pakistan, that is Pakistan admin 0, which is for the entire country. If uh, you want to make uh, a, a map for uh, specific region like a province or rather so you should add the, that area and now we want to extract or clip the data for only this particular space that is Pakistan so from the geoprocessing click the tool clip and ok we have already learned uh, these tools in the previous lectures
the clip option has been appeared now zoom to layer you can see different types of lines and polygons here on the on the map uh, which shows different kind of uh, geology coming towards the properties and opening the symbology just click the geology and you can see here different colors have been appeared which shows different types of rocks for this area these are different types of geological formation you can see here uh, like in previous videos uh, which uh, uh, we have done uh, the layout of the maps so again adding uh, the information for the map like uh, title legend and uh, north arrow as well as uh, scale to the map here you can see before going forward just create three columns for this uh, particular uh, legends change the color next next here you can see that the area can be shown with different kinds of boundaries just keeping uh, keeping it is uh, like uh, default next and finish so the legends have been added the legend show the information about the map uh, to remove the name to clear it changing the glg to the geology Okay. I want to change the size of uh, the title. Okay, this is a little bit uh, small, so I want to make it large. Bold. Okay okay now you can see that the map is a little bit uh, accurate uh, adding more information like uh, north arrow from insert okay and the scale You can also add the source of the data in this map. The information that is in the legends are on the symbols and uh, for explanation purpose it uh, will need uh, a little bit of uh, uh, information from that PDF file which we have already downloaded in the uh, 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 on the website. Saving this file as JPEG format, you can save it as a PDF format and other formats, etc. These are different types of geological rocks like QMS, KS, QMVS, TR, TRCS, etc. These are the symbols uh, which denotes different kinds of rocks. So coming towards again to the PDF file and here you can see the information about the rocks. Like Q represents here quaternary sediments. QS quaternary sand and dunes 
etc thank you